Hello Pisces, welcome to your... If this resonates with you, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. If you just tap on the red subscribe button on the bottom left hand side of the screen, any future posts that I put up will come up directly on your feed. Um, if this does not resonate with you, please be sure to check your moon and rising sign. Okay? Okay, Pisces, so the underlining energy here is the Queen of Swords, okay? So the Queen of Swords is, um, she's ambitious, strategic. Uh, you're going to really have your thinking cap on this month, Pisces, okay? So this is going to be all emotions put to the side, no more fun, no more games. I'm putting on my armor, I'm putting on my thinking cap, and we're going to win. Okay, I mean, that's the type of energy uh, we have on this reading. Now, this is where you are right now, the Page of Pentacles, okay? So the Page of Pentacles is going to be, I'm seeing maybe a young business owner or a young boss. You might have a young boss or you might be a young business owner with a vision there. You see how he's standing there looking at that coin? He's got a vision. This is someone who's either young who wants to grow a business or uh, maybe someone who has an, an you know, someone who has an employer, and maybe your boss is young with a big dream, okay? And you're out to help him achieve this big dream. So this is where you're at right now, Pisces. Now, what's crossing you is the Page of Swords. That's what's crossing you. Up until now, you have not taken action, okay? You've taken very little action. Don't forget, we have the Page, we have the Knight, and we have the King. You know, to make this real change in your life, you need to be the King of Swords, or at least a Knight of Swords. This is a Page of Swords, so you've taken very little action to get to this vision very little action Pisces but now the energy of this reading is you know we have a queen of swords there which is equivalent to the king of swords that's so funny I just said that so which is you know you want to be the king of swords here you want to be top dog like you want to really take action and go towards this vision that you have Pisces the best that can happen out of this is the lovers okay now the lovers uh, it's not always a card for love relationships this is all relationships in general so what this tells me is is that by taking this action pisces by going after your vision it may number one it may better your marriage okay or your spouse may be a huge part in in helping you do this okay or it may bring on some amazing partnerships some really beautiful friendships some really long lasting i mean this is very deep commitment okay pisces so this may bring on some very long lasting work partnerships or i also feel like it may be your spouse that really is the one um you know helping you take action and succeed in your vision okay now, the reason why we're even clicking into this reading, your place where your headspace is right now, is the Three of Cups, okay? Pisces, you want everything to be okay, and you are willing to fight for it. You want this to succeed, and you want to celebrate while doing it. Because you see here, the energy is right now, you're really on point. Your mind is, is dead set. You have action, action. You are not trying to deal with emotions right now, but you do want to get to this part. You want to get to a point where you could just relax, Pisces. You want to be able to just throw your feet up, throw your cup up and relax, all right? You are willing to put the work in to do that though, all right? Now the recent past, we have the 10 of swords here, okay? So in the recent past, something may have come to ruin. You may have found out some really bad news, but it did open a door for you, Pisces. It's going to be opening up a huge door for you because it's going to give you the room now to take this action that you want to take, okay? So in the recent past, you may have gotten some not so great news. In the recent future here, 
we have the three of wands, okay? So the three of wands is you really taking a look at this vision and wands is career and communication. So you're really going to get your goals in order. You're gonna start focusing. Um, you're gonna start communicating to the right people, developing the relationships that you want to develop. And I really feel like, you know, you're gonna get serious about going after what you want, Pisces. Now, this is you right now, your headspace. The Wheel of Fortune. Pisces, luck is on your side. Blessings are coming your way and that wheel is going to start spinning. Being action. I see a lot of action here. You're, you're, you're goal oriented. Your mind is in the right place. You've got this guy. Look at how both of these people here, look at how they're looking at their future. Look at how they're looking at the beyond, at a vision, you know? I mean, you're really starting to get, you know, in that, in that headspace of really thinking about your dreams and what you want. All right. Now, this is going to be your current environment. So currently right now, we have the King of Wands. Okay, so the King of Wands is someone who's very free spirit, spirited, someone who's always ready to tell a story and just kind of has no worries type of deal. So this is where you're at right now, but you need to change into no more wands, no more, you know, no more... You, you got to get out of this headspace of the partying. You got to stop partying, Pisces. Okay, um, this this whole everything is gonna be okay. Let me let everything roll over my shoulder type of thing. It's got to go. This is your current environment, and this has to. You got to turn into a soldier now, Pisces. To get to that dream, to get to that vision that you want, you need to step up your game. Now, this is gonna be your biggest hope or your biggest fear. We have the King of Pentacles here. Okay, so either you're going to be that king, that that money king that really, you know, steps up and is in control of his money in control of everything and get to this great part of, you know, point of celebration where you could just kick up or you're not. And that's, you know, you're either going to turn into that king that you need to turn into that, that boss, that entrepreneur, that partner, that CEO, that business owner, you're either going to be top dog or not. And that's your biggest hope or your biggest fear, Pisces, all right? Now, the outcome of this is going to be the Four of Pentacles, okay? So the Four of Pentacles means that you're not going to let go. You're going to keep fighting and doing what you need to do to attain, attain your vision. This also means that you're coming out of a bad place and into a better place, which is exactly what this card is. Something's going to, you know, come to ruin, but something amazing is going to come out of it. And you're not going to let go of those hopes. You're not going to let go of those dreams, okay? You're not going to do it. You're going to stand up and you're going to fight. You're going to put this wand down, party time is over, and Pisces, you're going to pick up your sword. You're going to pick up your sword. And look, underneath this, we have financial independence and stability. That's what that's going to lead to, okay, Pisces? So... I mean, it really is a beautiful reading because I kind of feel like in this reading, you're growing as a business owner, you're growing as uh, an employee, you're growing in your career. This, I feel a lot of growth here. I feel like I see you going from a young man or a young woman to an amazing king or queen, uh, an amazing boss, an amazing entrepreneur, an amazing business owner, or, you know, a, a huge promotion in your current job. I do see you going from someone who doesn't have a lot of money, like a younger person who doesn't have a lot of money, and you growing into this, you know, because you have a vision and you're willing to take action and move towards it, going towards financial stability and independence. It's really beautiful, Pisces. Okay, again, if you like this reading, please be sure to like and click the subscribe button, the red subscribe button on the bottom left hand side of the um, of the reading. And again, I am taking personal readings. You can find the information at the description box below. Have a great day.